What does it mean to save a life? For the friends and family members of a patient saved by a stem cell transplant, it means the entire world. How many of us will ever truly get the chance to save a life? Thanks to a partnership between the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Foundation and the Foundation for Jewish Camp, you will get the chance to find the hero in you at camp if you become a donor at today's drive. But first, what exactly is Gift of Life? Gift of Life is a donor registry containing the tissue types of hundreds of thousands of volunteers willing to donate their bone marrow or blood stem cells to help save the life of a stranger. A patient's best chance of finding a matching donor lies with volunteers from a similar ethnic background. Jay Feinberg learned that the hard way in 1991. Diagnosed with leukemia at the age of 22, Jay was told that because he was Jewish, his chances of finding a genetically matched donor for the transplant that could save his life were slim, since there were few Jews on the registry. Refusing to accept a death sentence, Jay's family and friends launched a campaign to find a match for him. It took four long years, but finally, his miracle match was found. Today, Jay serves as Gift of Life's executive director and remains passionate about the mission to recruit donors. You now have the opportunity to take part in the most important mitzvah of all, Pikuach Nefesh, saving a life, by registering to become a potential donor and helping to spread the word. Many volunteers across the country have already taken that first step and gone on to donate their cells and save lives. Hi, I'm Stacy, and this is my brother Dan. And we're both stem cell donors. We were both tested at Camper Mountain Nyack to be on the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Registry. When I signed up, I hoped that I would be a match for a patient. I thought it would be a really awesome experience, but I guess I never really thought it would actually happen. Um, I was really excited when it finally did. I never had a doubt in my mind about going through with the donation. I, I was very excited from the first time I got a phone call, and I was very excited to help someone out. When I found out I was going to be a donor, I felt like I had this really awesome secret that the special thing that I was going to get to do that a lot of people didn't wouldn't have the chance to do, even if they wanted to. And I, it just made me feel really special and felt like I had something really valuable to contribute with my life. Gift of Life donors have saved the lives of thousands of patients around the world. One of those patients is Matthew. Hi, I'm Susie Welling, and this is my husband Michael, and our son Matthew is alive today thanks to his stem cell donor, Jill. Matthew was first diagnosed with a condition called osteopetrosis, which is a malfunction of the bone marrow production. Um, the only treatment, the only course of action was a bone marrow or stem cell transplant. We were frightened and scared. We had no idea what this disease was. We had no idea what a stem cell transplant was. We were going to have to rely on a stranger to save Matthew's life, and we were told that it was possible to find a match. It was really a neat feeling knowing that there was someone out there that was willing to do such a wonderful thing for someone they don't even know. Matthew's transplant occurred at Memorial Sloan Kettering Hospital in New York City. Gift of Life called and asked if we wanted to meet Matthew's donor at their big gala. I remember that night like it was yesterday. And we went up on stage and they called Jill out and she walked up with a four foot Elmo doll and there she was. And I remember giving her a hug and saying, you saved my son's life. Here was this person who performed this unbelievably selfless act to save this little boy, uh, gratitude, uh, appreciation. Uh, I, I still, to this day, every time I see her, I'm, I say I'm, I'm not even sure how to thank you for what you did. Ready to get started on the road to saving a life? Registering to become a donor is easy. At today's drive, you will take the first step by simply filling out some paperwork and swabbing the inside of your cheek with a cotton swab. If you are a potential match for a patient who needs a transplant, you will be asked to give a sample of blood to confirm the match. If you are the best match, you will be asked to donate either peripheral blood stem cells or bone marrow. Approximately 80% of collections are done through drawing the stem cells from the peripheral blood in your arm. Only 20% of collections are from bone marrow. 
However they are collected, your cells will be taken to the patient for the transplant, wherever in the world he or she may be, offering that person a second chance at life. Sounds pretty heroic, right? I don't really consider myself to be a hero. I think I just did what you're supposed to do. If I was asked, I would absolutely donate again. I'm beyond thrilled that Gift of Life created this opportunity for me to be a donor. The goals and mission of Gift of Life completely fall into the values that are taught at Jewish camp. Just simple things from helping each other out and just being there for each other and, and treating others with kindness and respect. It's important for everyone, Jewish or not, to participate and become donors because one day it could be you on the other side. Matthew is a vibrant, lively, full of life child who we believe people can see that and say, hey, I can make a difference for a child too. It's important for you to know that you can help. Whether you sign up to be a donor, whether you mobilize yourself and your friends and your family to run drives, whether you mobilize efforts to raise money to cover all those costs of kits that are sitting waiting to be processed, you can help and your help is needed. For more information on Gift of Life and becoming a donor, please refer to the printed materials available at today's donor drive or visit www.giftoflife.org.